Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day three of the November Legal Day Charge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about uh, today's vlog. Uh, oh, my hair's so weird. So I did get, uh, I did go out and get this shiny thing today. Ooh, it's really cool, isn't it? Okay, that's enough. Um, but I'm not gonna lie. Um, I did not hit my goal. I failed. Uh, I finished um, about a minute and like eight seconds off my goal and did not hit my PB. <sighs> that said, it's such a. I'm I'm still very pooped, so I'll. I'll so I I didn't do the intro, but I'll uh, I'll, I'll add it in for tomorrow's. Um, today, let's actually take a look at today's farm and hoping it is easy. Uh, if not, I'll still try do it. For, okay, it's a medium. I'll, I'll still honestly probably do it as quickly as I can. And uh, maybe my explanation's a little bit weak, but you, you have to forgive me. I just ran a marathon today. Uh, and yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed, but... It is what it is. I'll talk about it more tomorrow when I'm like a little bit well rested, more well, more rested, and kind of collect myself a little bit. But um, you know, I, I think that the hard part is that when you're so close to your goal, like if I missed it by five minutes or even ten minutes, or if I'm, you know, then it is what it is, right? Like there's no what. I mean, there may be what ifs, but it's just like it wasn't close. But when you miss something by like a minute, there's so many what ifs, you know. Uh, but I gave it everything I can. I was in pain. Like I literally cramped for the entire last mile. Oh, sorry, last uh, hour, the last 10K, the last uh, six, seven miles. So, um, and the entire time I wanted to, to start walking, you know, but yeah. <sighs> So that I'm proud of, I guess. But yeah, we'll talk about it more uh, tomorrow. Today, I, I really want to pass out uh, and get back to bed. I can't walk upstairs or downstairs. And I could barely walk horizontally right now. But uh, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Um, all right. Let's take a look at today's problem. We have 1578, minimum time to make rope colorful. All right, Alice has N balloons. You have, and they're just colors in the color of the eye of balloon. Uh, Alice wants the rope to be colorful to consecutive. All right, I mean, it seems like so it takes. Oh, needed time is this time to remove I balloon, right? I mean, I think this seems pretty straightforward. You have, right? You have groups of balloons, and if they're all the same color, then you just we um, you could say remove all the other ones, or you could say keep the one that is. The maximum time, and then we move all the other one, right? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, so this is pretty straightforward. There are a couple of things you can do with for loops and arrays and stuff like that. Um, there's also this thing called group by in Python that I'm going to use, right? Um, mm, though I, I guess we should probably zip up these things a little bit first. So maybe I'll do like a zip colors needed time, right? Um, so you have like four, um, I don't want to write it, C, N or some or T maybe. So in every one of these, we just write, um, you know, in theory, you would make it like a name tuple or something like that, but I am very tired. Uh, I'm going to say that like 18 times, so I, I am actually like, uh, it took me a lot of energy to like collect myself to do this video, to be honest. Because um, I, I, <clears throat> I really gave it my all, you know. Uh, but in, in that regards, even if all the what ifs, there are no, no regrets um, on today. But, you know. Anyway, all right, so you kind of group to this, right? And then now you could do group by on oh, this new array. You could set up the key. And we just want to group by, by um, C, right? The color. So you could do uh, duh, 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 maybe item. For item, we do item of zero, which is C. And if you use the name tuple, maybe that'll be better. Um, and I think I, I write something like this, usually, where G is going to be the color. We don't care about the color. 
right? Because if you group them all together, then every alternating one are not grouped together, so then they're not going to be the same color, right? So we don't actually even care about that. T will give you the, uh, the way in which they're grouped together, so it will give you both the color and the time. So, oh, well, at least it would be if you convert it to a list. I, I, I actually was thinking about it, but I forgot. Right? So then you see that, you know, A1, B2, A3, and 4, right? So then now, all you have to do is um, the two things, right? You could sort, of course, as we said, we keep the max. But as a result, you can always just sum and then keep the max, right? So you have um, sum of T. Can you do sum? Uh, I, was gonna, I was wondering if there's like a key function for it. But either way, you could also just do like, um, you know, again, the color again. And then the, the current time, so maybe or need a time in um, or just and t for this in um, in t, right? And then as a result, that, um, well, t is an iterator, so you have to actually be a little bit careful, right? So let's just convert this to a list, and then actually let's just put it, put it in a list, right? So maybe need a time as you go to this. Um, or uh, maybe another thing, right? So, uh, naming things is so hard. I don't have the 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 head for it for, it, for today, right? So, uh, all right, CT for color time, right? And the reason why I, I convert to a list is because we're gonna do it twice: one for max, and then one for sum, right? So then total time is gonna take this, max is gonna be this. So then we just take total minus the max. It's going to be the minimum time that we used. And then it's going to be, uh, I don't know, just call it used, right? And there you go. Let's give it a quick submit. Huh, this is a little bit slower, huh? Yeah, it is what it is, it's fine. This is linear time, linear time, linear space because of this. And we should be good. Because what did I do last time? Because we did it like, oh no, I guess this is faster. Um, hmm. What did I do last time? Last time I did the same thing, actually, it seems like. Oh, huh. I just did. Okay. Well, same idea, though. I just converted it to this. Oh. Huh. Oh, I guess you can do group by directly. I, I guess that's what I did. Which makes sense. Uh, goodbye on the sip. Oh well. In any case, uh, yeah. I maybe I didn't explain it that well. You should watch that other video. I am going to pass out. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for supporting. Thanks everyone for all your well wishes. Um, I need time to reflect on myself, and then we'll see. Anyway, that's all I have for today. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later then. Take care. Bye-bye.